Well, Iowa lawmakers at the State House in Des Moines are looking at two pieces of legislation that some say will restrict education and accommodations for LGBT communities in the state. Those bills target what can and cannot be taught in the classroom. It's our top story tonight at 10. The first is House File 8, which would restrict instruction relating to gender identity and sexual orientation in schools from kindergarten through third grade. The second is House File 9, which would prevent school staff from affirming a student's gender identities if it's not what's on their birth certificate. That includes exclusion from restrooms and pronouns. The only way for a student to be granted these rights is if a parent or a guardian signs off on them. Iowa Safe Schools is a nonprofit organization that is lobbying against both of those bills. That organization says that there are already standards in places of what need to be taught. Core standards are very clear about what should be taught. Both Common Core and um, the Iowa Core standards are very clear about what should be taught and what is age and developmentally appropriate. This government, uh, this bill is really a far-reaching piece of legislation. It's big government censorship and we stand against it firmly. Both of the bills were introduced last week in the Iowa House and have passed through subcommittee. Republicans who support the legislation say that this is allowing parents more chances to monitor what's being instructed to their kids. Iowa Safe Schools discussed what they would say to parents who's con who are concerned about what their child is being taught on this topic. I would say as someone representing an organization who writes curriculum uh, for this age, but also high school and middle school level, um, educators are working their best to ensure that their curriculum is not only age appropriate, but developmentally appropriate for uh, that student. Uh, and really, the data has shown time and time again that inclusive curriculum, regardless of the age, reduces bullying and increases student success. Both of the bills are headed to the House Education Committee tomorrow for a session at 11 in the morning. During that meeting, they could move up to the House floor for debate if they're voted through. Now, a similar bill was passed last year in Florida, while another bill is now proposed in Texas.